Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Joe Biden promised a clean energy revolution and environmental justice. But what he delivered on was unaffordable energy for the poor and middle class. Joe Biden promised to build back better, but what he delivered on was record inflation. And now he says the record high energy prices are a good thing. When it comes to the gas prices, uh, we're going through an incredible transition that is taking place that, God willing, when it's over, we'll be stronger and the world will be stronger and less reliant on fossil fuels when this is over. So according to Joe Biden, unavailable and unaffordable energy is environmental justice. The Sri Lanka prime minister, who is a member of the World Economic Forum, promised to make his country rich by the year 2025. Four years later, the country's economy has collapsed and they're out of fuel, food, and money. Germany is shutting down all of their nuclear power plants. And as a direct result of governmental actions, they're facing severe energy poverty. I took this poll on Gab. Why do we have an energy crisis? And 99% of respondents said governmental actions to curtail the energy supply rather than a shortage of available energy. We have a man-made energy crisis caused entirely by bad government. The United Nations is warning of a catastrophic global food shortage. And at the same time, governments are forcing farmers to stop producing food. Governments are crushing the poor and middle class in the name of helping them. Governments say they have to freeze and starve people now in order to save them from climate models which predict future global warming. Academia and government are crushing the very people they claim to be helping. None of these governmental leaders ran on a platform of making energy and food unavailable and unaffordable. People like Joe Biden are doing the exact opposite of what they promised they would do. And this is exactly what Malcolm X warned about almost 60 years ago before he was assassinated. Liberals, that, that white person that you see calling himself a liberal is the most dangerous thing in the entire Western Hemisphere. He's the most deceitful. He's like a fox. And a fox is, almost, is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to. But the fox will fool you. He comes at you with his mouth shaped in such a way that even though you see his teeth, you think he's smiling and taking for a friend. In 1836, Pastor John Wilkinson said, One of the artifices of Satan is to induce men to believe that he does not exist. Another, perhaps equally fatal, is to make them fancy that he is obliged to stand quietly by. And Reverend Akkad said, The sin of doing nothing is the deadliest of all the seven sins. It has been said that for evil men to accomplish their purpose, it is only necessary that good men should do nothing. Leaders around the world have been doing the exact opposite of what they said they were going to do, and this has been going on for a very long time. Dogs are an excellent judge of character and they bark at people they don't trust. Toto recognized the evil 14 years ago and has been barking about it ever since. You can visit Toto, Kyrie Caesar, Toki and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.